Here's an instance where a slight bounce exists. It's subtle, but it's there. This could be a problem caused by stone dust or minute debris caught in the ball and clasp assembly. Or it could be an incorrect bite registered by the impression taken. Unless an incorrect bite is obvious, it's easier to start by lubricating the ball and clasp assembly. Let's see if there's still a bounce. No more bounce. The problem is fixed. Occasionally, the proper operation of the ball and clasp can be impaired because of stone dust and debris getting in there. The best way to correct this is to use a lubricant. Place a couple of drops on a tissue paper, then lubricate the ball of each base unit. Snap together using the ball guides. You should now feel smooth lateral and protrusive movements. For the most part, there is no need to adjust your ball and clasp assembly. However, in the event that you need to tighten it, all you need are twist ties and a heater gun. To do this, simply separate the two pieces and take a twist tie, slide it through the clasp. Once you have it in there, pinch the clasp together so it's closer together and then take the twist tie and twist them together. Then you do the same for the other one. Again, you twist it, uh, pinch it in, and then twist it together. Once you have both done, turn on the heater gun. gently heat around the area. Make sure you do not overheat it because you do not want to melt the plastic. Once it's been heated sufficiently, put it aside and do the same with the other. Gently move it around. Be careful not to overheat. Once it's done, set it and let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, just take off the twist ties. together and now you should feel a tighter ball and clasp assembly so as you can see this uh, model here has an incorrect bite the correct bite would be this 
this way. Instead, it's off. It's in fact really quite off. This is really kind of an extreme case, but just to show you that we can correct, we can correct this pipe uh, right on the articulator. We first start by basically uh, leave it as is, and then what you want to do is you want to lock centric position. To do that, just use one of these binder clips and put it over there so it locks it. And then you do the same on the other side. So we'll do the same right about here. And then that basically will lock it in place. And then what we will do is, with the help of a heating gun, this heating gun here, we are going to um, take uh, the, 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 we're going to heat the arm right about there, right about here on this one side and here on the other side. When the plastic has softened, then we will pull it back into place, hold it, and then we will dip it in this water to cool it quickly. You can also do this uh, with running water, of course. So let's get started. So now we will heat the arm. Make sure you kind of move it around a little bit. Don't don't burn the plastic, and and not too not too close. You don't need to do it too close. Depends on the temperature of your heating gun. Uh, feel like it's already warm enough then what you would do is you'd like to basically see if you can start to bend it already it's not bending yet but once it bends it's the top one you need to do right there Then you hold it in place. Make sure you hold it in place. Still heat that area up. Feel like it's already at a point where the bite is correct. That's your correct bite. And if you think it's good enough, then you can dip it in here to cool. Just let that plastic cool. Then you basically take off the binder clips. So, see now, now that bite is correct. The bite is not correct.